This is a video for discoverdigitalphotography.com. In this video I'm going to show you how you can take three images with different lighting, so three images that are lit differently, and combine them into a single image with multicoloured lighting. Uh, this video is going to show the channel technique where you put each image into a separate red, green or blue channel in a document and this is using the full version of Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC here but it works the same way on Photoshop CS as well. So I've got my three images that I want to use open here in Camera Raw about to be imported into Photoshop. So you can see this first image it was lit from the left, second image was lit from the right and the last image was lit from behind. So the lighting was coming from a different direction in each image while the camera and the subject were in the same position. So I'm going to open the images. Okay, so we've got our three images open in Photoshop. Just had to skip that bit because it's a bit slow while it's recording the video. Now what I'm going to do is I've got one image selected. I'm going to press Control and A or it will be Command A on the keyboard on a Mac and then Control and C or Command and C to copy. Control and A selects all Control and C copies and then I'm going to go to File and New. The preset I want to ensure that is set to Clipboard and that means that the new document that I'm going to create will be the same size as the document that I've just copied. I'm going to click OK. Oh, the other thing to do is you want to make sure that your colour mode is set to RGB down here. Click OK on that new document. And then over in my layer palette, I'm going to go to Channels. If you can't see Channels, go to Window and then make sure you've got Channels ticked up here. And oh, um, I think that was this one that I copied, 817. I'm just trying to make sure that I create this image the same way that I created it before because the order that you, um, or which um, channel you copy the image into will depend change the colours of the final image and how it looks. So this is my final one. So I think I want this one to go in the red channel. So I select the red channel over here and then I'm pressing Control and V on the keyboard or it would be Command V if you're on a Mac and that will paste that in there. And I can now get rid of that document. I'm going to switch back to one of our other photos. Control and A to select all or Command and A. Control and C and C on the Mac to copy. Go back to our new document and then I'm going to select the blue channel and Control and V or Command V on the Mac to paste. And that's pasted our image into the blue channel. Now we can get rid of that. And then we've got our final image here. So again, I'm going to get Control and A or Command A to select all, Control and C or Command C to copy. Go over to our new document, click on the green channel, and then Control and V or Command V to paste. And then if I click on uh, RGB layer up in the channels here, it will show all three channels. And you can see we've created our multicolored lighting on our subject. And if we go back to the layers, we can see our background that was previously plain white that's changed into our image. And then to finish this image off, I'm just going to create a new layer. Switch to the brush tool, so just pressing B on the keyboard there. Oops. Using the right bracket key there to make the brush larger. And it's going to paint over these lights because I don't really want them in the final image and then control and D or command D on the Mac to deselect and there we've got our final image